All right, this is it, guys. It's eleven o. It's eleven o three. Three minutes behind schedule. So, what's going on? Ev- what's going on, everybody? This is the Duke Nukem podcast. Um, I'm not your host because this is a communist society where all three of us are just hosting equally. So, absolutely nothing can go wrong with that. Yeah, introduce yourself, boys. <laughs> yeah, uh, foot jump, man. You got them on the edge of their seats. Good, good. Yeah. Um, I can't pronounce my, um, <laughs> I'm going to look it up real quick. <laughs> Just play it through Google Translate. Um, yeah, um, new, uh, new mono ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis made. That's my alias. Nice. And of course I'm, uh, DJ Hung Vamp, the one and only, the original, um, I really am still disappointed that DJ Young Vamp decided to spin off my original name and make his name DJ Young Vamp. So, whatever it is, what it is. So yeah, I don't know, boys. Topics. What do you think? Can we can we just talk about how HP Shoddy stole the name of my of my brother HP Inkjet? HP Inkjet. Yeah, I know that was a big loss for the community. We're just gonna have to deal with it and carry through. Yeah, sad times. Sad times. P honkers are up right now, though, for sure. Stocks are down. P honkers up. It's the way the world works. Absolutely. Um, so I got some questions. These are questions I went and pulled the community. I'm going to read these and we'll just answer them. So our first write-in is from Gucci Mane. He says, which P-Honk sample is y'all favorite? Um, probably the A- Alan Walker faded one. <laughs> I just honestly use a bunch of different random stuff. I just, I think for vocal samples, I have used stuff like Justin Bieber and Baby Shark. Do 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 do. Yep. I don't know how many dudes there are, but that was a hard sample. I think the, I think the FreeCreditReport.com acapella was extremely underrated. Um, so I'm gonna have to go with that one. Absolutely. Or the um, at the show just says "dick" all over the all over again. <laughs> that one, what well, that one was fire. Track on volume six, by the way. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry, boys. I'm gonna edit this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. just thinking about some other answer. Don't forget that sound good as you. Yeah, we're going to sound good idea, don't worry, people, it'll, this will be crispy. This podcast is brought to you by Sound Goodizer. This, this podcast is brought to you by Can I See Your Feet? Quick sponsor break. Two of the longest running sponsors, they've been supporting us for a long time. <laughs> and Pears. <laughs> pears, yep. We, I don't think we could do it without them, to be honest. So we have uh, another one, Real Elon Musk. He asks, which volume are you the most satisfied with so far? Who will go first? I don't know. <laughs> Alpha, we'll go alphabetically. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that's me then, if it's alphabetically. <laughs> Deep. Hold on, I gotta actually look at our, our albums again. Or our volumes again. Alright, we got volume 5, volume 4. I was... I didn't join until volume four and I don't know. I want to say that volume four was kind of the perfect volume. In my opinion, I think it, it bridged between cause volume five had a lot of production value to it. I guess you could say, I don't know if so. I don't know if everyone would agree with that, but (laughs) volume four just merges that cause volume two and three, one, two and three just just had a different, different feel, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I think they are just. They're good. I think each volume is good in its own way. I uh, they, they are unique. Each of them are unique, but um, I, I like all of them. You can pick one for each mood or something, depending. For example, yeah. long three. I really like that hyper hyper P honk that yeah. gives me a lot of life. I mean, I didn't join until fucking volume five, so so obviously volume five. But, but I best. think like I I think uh, volume four is the best one. But, I mean, the best one uh, I was in was volume 5, of course. I'm going to listen to that in the background. I think also volume 1 is just irreplaceable. 
in a yeah. lot of ways. Uh, just that first the cowbell like, and then which, like the, the the beginning is all always the strong one. It's like with games because like in games the, the first one you can't really make mistakes with the first game because the first game will always and the first game you can't really uh, say like nah this isn't this game series anymore or some shit and that's the same with like tapes and shit yeah i think with anything when the first volume or first anything comes out there's no expectations but once yeah. the first one comes out there people start to have expectations mm -hmm. and then then yeah the creators start to adapt to it but sometimes that can lead to unintended consequences sometimes people don't like the sequel mm -hmm. no we got we definitely got a lot of hate on the uh, on the sequel and yeah yeah we've got a lot of haters all together though for real they just don't like the pee huh they don't understand it. Um, like example a good example is uh, dj young vamp mm -hmm. um he was a hater since day one Yep. and uh, he's dead now because I killed him because um, well he hates on P Honk. Yep, rest in peace, young vamp. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry if we're the ones to break the news to you, but he was murdered by uh, foot foot job being so. Yeah, with a little bit of help by my good friend HP Inkjet. Yep. Yeah, I uh, yeah I dropped a print on him. <laughs> what a fucking way to go into a cowbell. <laughs> we, we dropped a cowbell on him. <laughs> the world's <laughs> biggest mean, cowbell. Uh, he just rage quitted when we put too much cowbells and sound good as you. Yeah. He just, he just somehow just rage quitted and he just left. <laughs> Speaking of haters, we also have real funk news, which is a kind of surprising hater, as he is a P honk meme. Uh, channel, so he is sort of. Now he isn't P Honk because he said like uh, P Honk is unfunny, and oh, uh, right. but he got no bitches, so yeah, it doesn't look like it. Um, his, uh, his opinion doesn't count. It doesn't because he got no bitches. He also rarely what? posts. Let's see, when's his last post? Twenty two yeah. weeks ago. Yeah, it's the one where I'm like I'm like um, Memphis triple six. Follow now on Instagram. I beg you. Follow Memphis, yeah. the godfather of the Hooded Bandits. And he's his last post oh, four yeah. days ago. <laughs> four days. Active as fuck. I accidentally opened up the post. Nice. <laughs> the P-Hawk promo video. Yeah. Which, I don't know if this uh, podcast is going to... My... Watch out to my remix. <laughs> That's like, <a>, yes. <laughs> I can't wait till that drops. And uh, I don't know if this podcast is going to drop on time, but if this comes at the right time, we actually are looking for P Honk producers. So yep. follow MemeFist666, join the Discord yeah, server. It, 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 uh, it's important that you are uncircumcised, because if you're if you're circumcised, you're not welcome. Yep. yep. Please send all photo evidence to um, yep. HillaryClinton at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, send your dick pics, your uncircumcised dick pics to Hillary Clinton. Yo, the only way that those just if just you have so a that photo see, never that just away. get the fuck out. Just paint it pink, <laughs> then you'll find it, then you can. <laughs> if you have a person, just make sure it is also uncircumcised. <laughs> For some of this shit, I don't even know if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to another question. Yeah. We have uh, DJ Young Vamp actually oh. took a turn, a very surprising appearance uh, writing into the dead. fan mail. He says, Bert, my bandits, I'm so sorry for hating on P-Honk. Oh, interesting. I actually really like the genre as I take a lot of inspiration from it, especially my later tracks. Much love, Vamp. Oh, well, that's actually dude. really out of left well, field. When, have, well, when, did he, when did he write that? That was April 24th. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay, yeah, now it's too late. Yeah. No, I, I actually think Vamp is uh, is turning around a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually am pretty sad, though, because Vamp is playing a show in Colorado, which is only a few, uh, 
few hours away from here. I don't know, I guess it's like 10 hours away from me. So kind of a drive. But he's playing on my birthday, actually. It's, it's, it's right on my birthday is when his show is. I, I, would, I would actually really like to go, but I'm traveling somewhere else for, uh, for my birthday. So I'm going to miss out on his show. And I feel like Vamp would be really fun to watch live, um, especially now that he's you know embracing P-Honk. Mm. Anyway, that's enough about Vamp. He gets enough attention. Yeah, that <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> here's another. Here's a more underrated artist, a little more underground. Um, they wrote in. Uh, Drake asks, if any of y'all are under the age of eighteen and female, please hit me up. Um, not really a honk question, but I guess we can expand on this topic. So, um, I, uh, I can. I, I can do an operation if you want. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> Adam, not eighteen yet. So, uh, I'm a I'm a I'm a slide in your DMs. I am a I'm a hot twenty three year old female producer. Actually, if you guys didn't realize, so is there a chance? Your, um, I see a SoundCloud uh, like really coincidentally um uh called lullaby with the two sevens mm -hmm. yeah oh okay no oh, okay no no okay uh come aliens come aliens they are invading earth for sure man yeah for sure they like people yeah. don't realize that i, I we're... saw them i saw them just just like a few minutes ago they they landed on a building outside my window yeah, people don't realize that we're actually warning them with a lot of these tracks. Uh, we have a lot yeah. of subliminal messaging and things like that that mm. are really intended to just educate the masses in a covert way. Um, we're using some high levels of technology. Um, it's pretty crazy stuff, and I think that people are actually like scary. In one track of mine, where I uh, sampled Alan Alan Walker's "Faded" on. The P Honk Volume Five. Mm -hmm. There's screaming in the background. That's actually a recording of the screaming of a of a man who's who's who is been slandered by the come aliens mm -hmm. in my backyard. Yeah, that's terrifying, man. Yeah, um, Evan, do you have anything to add to the topic on come aliens and uh, Drake asking for eighteen females? Um, let's see, I am negative five billion years old, so <laughs> Okay. I'll hit up Drake. Yeah. Perfect. Now you're not a female, but the fact that you're so young might actually make up for the fact that really you're like yeah. negative five hundred billion trillion. Yeah, yeah, man, you're like a spore, like a medieval spore, I guess. Which is pretty uh, impressive. The fact that you can use a computer. You got a physical singularity. Um, we got another question uh, from Rick Astley. Uh, he says, "Are you ever gonna give up on P Honk?" Never. P Honk is like uh, if P Honk was a person, and uh, I don't care if it's, if it's like a guy or a mm -hmm. female, I would instantly <laughs> this shit out out of it. Consensually, though, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because I, 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 I love it so much. Well, for me personally, um, I don't think I'm ever going to give up on P Hunk. I think it's a, uh, again, it's revolutionary, as I said before, and I think that there's a lot that you can do with it. You know, in, in terms of thought control and uh, government intervention and um, other sort of biotech blockchain technologies. Um, you know, I think that the you know, phase inversion model that we have been implementing into our P honk algorithms are really taking the uh, the masses, and it's only a matter of time before people are only listening to P honk. Yeah, but to everyone who does who makes P honk for uh, for cloud, mm -hmm. fuck you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but you guys, do, you guys do not get it. Yeah. 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 This isn't a community. This is a, a dictatorship. Business. It's a business, yeah. It's a business. It's a capitalist uh, entity that 
we have an you know we have our own but corporation this pod, this and investors. Podcast, though, this this podcast is, is communist though, communist podcast. It is, yeah. No, it's completely. It's 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 actually a radical free market capitalist, but also super communist and far left as well at the same time. Because um, again, it's it's part of the uh, the grand scheme, the grand plan, the final. Yeah. Yep. So I think that's good. Um, P honk is the future. Again, I'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Pears. Um, they've been a big support on the show. And again, we just couldn't do it without them. Eat plenty of pears, everybody. Eat plenty of pears. Eat plenty of pears. Eat plenty of, plenty pears. of pears. Because I eat pears and shit like that. Um, origin stories. You were there for volume one, right, Evan? Yeah, I was there since the since the inception. But like, actually, I discovered uh, P Honk. There's like a big ass fucking hole in uh, my backyard. I just kind of dig. Uh, recently, I found a big piece of shit, and I just called it P Honk, and that's how I found P Honk. Yep. And it's my everything now. It sits on my counter right now. For me, my origin story is, again, pretty much the same. I uh, I just found it. I don't know where. Meme Fist, I guess. Meme Fist is where I have been making pee honk. Actually, before that, because there was the overarching penis music and goofy upbeat genre. Shout and, out to Penis Music Collective. Yep, shout out to Penis Music Collective, a, uh, a partner in the Hood of Bandits Corp. Penis music was sort of a... Uh, a, a starter for it and I would I would sample um, a few times actually Jean, ja Jean Jacques Perry Jean Jacques Perry I don't know how to pronounce his name but um, he makes some amazing Moog music and the Moog synth I don't know if it actually is used the Moog synth for cartoon sound effects but you can create modern sound effects that sound similar to the ones that you'd hear in cartoons like the big sweeps and like the bonks and stuff like that i was sampling him before p honk but then once i found out that there was a whole genre there was sort of a funk derivative subgenre of penis music and goofy ass beats um that's when I really started to just like dive into it and, and then I, I actually shot uh, Meme Fist a message and that's how I got put on board. So that's my origin yeah, story. That, uh, video with that person who said P honk bonk. It did, yeah. That was the that was the turning point, I think, of the whole of the whole genre. Fonk. I think that's what he said. Yep. Pretty much. much. I don't know who that is though still. I'm still I wish Rob was here yeah. that we could we could see what his thoughts are on it. So we can DM him and spam his DM so that he can make some tags and shit. He, oh my god, yeah. If he could make tags for us, that would be amazing. Yo, who did bandits tags by that guy? Yo, we made it if we got that far. Yup. I know. I feel like once we get to the point where our entire... Uh, our entire song is just different hooded bandits tags that's when we've officially like made it maybe we could create a uh, an app of sorts and and you know publish it to well, maybe we ios and android a potential um website oh yeah we do have a we do we, we actually own phonk.com yeah i think yeah evan Evan and I were. We should. We should yeah, we should so make, I, we made peahong.com. This is currently like last time I checked, which is probably like I don't know, too long ago. But there were just some text on it. Yeah, just some links. We are working closely with uh, Mark Zuckerberg to yeah turn it into to a cohesive me. social media platform and to turn it into uh, the metaverse. Yeah, of course, the p the p honk verse. The p, um, p honk verse. Yeah, the p verse. Yep. Yeah, things aren't all sunshine and roses for P-Honk, though, if you guys haven't noticed. I don't know if you've been hearing about the news, but there's actually um, another competitor genre called Poo Honk. Now, again, it's it's kind of a ripoff. I don't know if it's going to stay or stick or whatever, but what are you guys' thoughts on Poo Honk? Do you have even heard of it, or like what, what do you think about it? Poo Honk, um, well, I heard that uh, Chips Ahoy Main 
that stupid motherfucker mm -hmm. makes Pooh Honk, uh, so I automatically uh, despise it. Mm -hmm. He did say something good about a track I did with Markiplier Main on Volume 5, though, so I despise him a little bit, bit less. Oh, but, right. Um, Pooh Honk. Uh, well, it's pretty fucking shit. It is literally, yeah. Evan, yeah, any thoughts on that? Oh yeah, pretty excited about that. Uh, Spotify, is Spotify killing p -honk? Um, well, okay, um, well, you know with that, like, p -honk is a pretty, pretty cool genre, and, um, but like, there's this new sub-genre called Drift p -honk, mm -hmm. and, um, well, it, it began to rise on on TikTok, and well, uh, Spotify is actually working on a on a drift p honk uh, editorial playlist, and is labeling it p honk. So the I think the p honk genre is in uh, in real danger mm -hmm. because then probably everybody will think that drift p honk is just p honk. But p honk could like be everything else, and drift p honk is shit. Yeah. Right, that's exactly my thoughts as well. Um, it's I think like the that... yokai video, right? Yeah, yeah but, yokai. But for for some reason, uh, yokai just uh, said the name wrong. He's he's been telling it wrong. Yeah, I don't know what it is. He's been on the deep end lately, and I think he was under a lot of stress when he made that video. So I understand why he kind of made the mistake of um of calling it Fonk instead of P-Honk so yeah. but no worries Yokai I would I would recommend that you do change your video name to you know P-E-E -E Honk um because he still has yeah, that misspelling and, yeah so yeah and please just make a P-Honk documentary thank you yeah please he needs to represent please. the community properly I'll because please. I'd yeah. pay one million Monopoly dollars for it. I bro, I pay two million dull coins. It's actually a lot of money. Honk coins. Yeah, yeah P honk coins, coins actually. Crypto, cryptocurrency. <laughs> it's gonna be worth the entire supply of Bitcoins, just one P honk coin. So that's what is that, twenty four million bitcoins? This one P honk yeah. coin? We basically it it's basically unlimited money for everyone who uh, who's gonna buy a p -honk coin but the the p -honk coin is actually not in like any standard um currency it's actually in bitches so nobody nobody's going to uh, be able to buy that because you ain't got no bitches it's redeem it's also redeemable in bitches though as well so if you if you do acquire it you are um entitled to a bitch yeah so that's the revenue at least one bitch yep but but, but because like uh, the hooded bandits all got unlimited bitches we got also unlimited uh peahawk coin we do yeah but it's also very rare it's unlimited but it's also extremely rare so yeah just keep that in mind when you're investing p honk nfts as well uh, we just we were talking about crypto now nfts is the next logical step here I'm thinking we do board board something. Um, How do you draw music? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Isn't there are also uh, music music NFTs where you can buy songs and then just like mm -hmm. put on the blockchain, put on the p hump chain, the yeah. cock chain. The the cock chain will be uh, uncircumcised because circum circumcised things. Are not welcome in the PR community. There are exceptions. Yeah, but is our uh, research and development team still developing the medication to help him grow that back? Though. Um. Yeah, I think they're nearly done, but uh, they need a, a few weeks. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. That, I don't know. They're using they're nanobots like or something. They're a bit tri tripping right now on crack, so 
uh, well that's the first thing they experimented with I believe if I'm not mistaken yeah that's yeah and uh, now that all um well that didn't work so they are now experimenting with uh, heroin right to kind of yeah. calm their crack high down yeah but like because they're addicted to to crack they are like take both now so uh they kind of uh are about to find out that crack and heroin n not really healthy but it it grows back the uh, foreskin yep it does if you talk to any crack addict you'll also just take a peek they'll probably try to fight you and stuff but just tell them it's for science you just you know, unzip yeah. and take a look. You'll you'll see your proof. It'll it won't be looking that good, but you'll see proof. Of course, yep. No, it, it never looks as good as the you know natural stuff that comes when you're born. Um, favorite car? Wait, I'm gonna look that up because I don't What's know. What's a car? Is that like a? It's kind of like, like a thing. It's like a metal thing. You just uh, metal hit thing, in, and you can kind of. It's got some wheels, and you can kind of just uh, go fast in it. Of course, you want. But you can also go slow. But it's kind of whack. So I'm not sure. Maybe like a golf cart or something. Maybe nice. like a, That's a good model and a good year. Yeah, like a oh, 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 a year model, maybe like 50 billion BC or something. Well, okay, I got so a little before your time. Here. Oh, let me take a look at the picture. <laughs> yeah, that's very nice. Probably, that's, that's probably my uh, favorite car. Yeah. Yeah, it's really very aerodynamic. You can see that they've done a lot of uh, research to. You know, accomplish that. And design, if there's so. like oil damage, it just comes out at the front. Yeah, it's it, it it will probably look like they they uh this car has an or orgasm. By the way, J uh, JDM uh I know I g uh, yesterday I realized that JDM now stands for. J yep, good cars. Um, okay. I got another, this is kind of a hard-hitting one. Hopefully it doesn't get too political, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Um, favorite color? Um, the color of Blueberry Mane's foreskin. Okay, so blue. Um, I like, it's like a little, little red tint because it's like a little bit bloody. Yeah, like red splotches. So red and polka dot. And a bit, uh, and a bit like pink-ish because of the lean. Uh, right, because he dipped. Like, he, he dipped his uh, his dick in the and he drank it through it somehow. I don't know how he did it, but the, he just started yeah. sipping it like it was a straw. It's yeah. pretty nuts. Yeah, Evan, favorite color? Favorite color? I don't know. Green, maybe because of Shrek or something. Yeah, green's a good color. You can Google colors as well, and maybe you could see like the whole list of colors. <laughs> Google. Yeah. I like I like those infrared rays or something. It's like a so another topic I got though is uh, pollution. What are you guys' opinions on pollution? Mass global disintegration with uh, garbage and stuff. Um, uh, it's uh, mostly that's actually uh, just my cum. So I think it's it's pretty it's a pretty good thing. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I think pollution's a good thing. Um, I think the Earth needs more of it and. It makes the earth a little bit more like cozy. Yeah, I, I think it gives it like personality. It's not. It makes it more spicy. Right. Yeah. yeah. Too, it's, it's too boring for me. Yeah. Especially the paper towels I throw away every night mm -hmm. when, when I masturbate mm -hmm. because like um, they're just they I know I know for a fact that that the um, the trash people that they just eat them because they're so tasty i still don't understand why they haven't made any lean with um like added microplastics you know like kind of as a protein yes, supplement real drinks mm. what's your favorite drink um i kind of like 
You know, I used to be a fan of Lean, but I've kind of moved on to um, ice water. Water with ice in it. Yeah. I like the flavors oh. that it brings out. Yeah. So, me too. Actually, like, because I uh, it just... Lean is just... It did get very unhealthy because I did my dick in it too many times so I just kind of switched to um, uh, I just like like uh, I just like to go to the public bathroom and drink out of the urinal with a little bit really? of ice cool and what are you like making extra micronutrients from there when you drink from that yes yeah. just uh, every time I, I drink something of that uh, I just kind of um, grow another part of my body body it is last time it was uh, another toe the the one before that it was another um eye so i got an eye on my fore forehead now mm -hmm. but i never use it because if i use it i just see in the fourth dimension and it just looks very scary yeah oh, okay so i'm actually gonna message this to our r d team um so when you drink that urinal water, drinking mm. urinal water allows for growth of other appendages. Yeah. So that uh, circum that foreskin serum that we're working on, that could be a huge leap forward for that team. So we'll see what they what they come up with. But like at the moment, they need to recover from their um, addiction to crack and heroin. So, yep. Evan, what's your favorite drink? I like, uh, I like Elmer's Green, man. So, Elmer's, if you're ever looking to sponsor the podcast, uh, please reach out. You can uh, you can reach us at um, Elon Musk at AOL.com. So. You can basically reach us everywhere. Like, any uh, email you got. But even your own business email, just uh, email yourself. We will read it anyway. Yep. Precisely. Here's one for you guys. It's a little more open-ended, but um, what makes you unique? I can give great foot jobs and can print out loads of paper. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, my my unique uh, credit card number makes me unique, so I'm, I'm very proud of my uniqueness. Okay. Now you are going to have to provide an example, perhaps read the credit card number along with the three digits on the back and expiration date, if you don't mind. Yeah, it's like, um... Oh, my, my three digits is like... Or something like that. Something like that. Yo. Yeah, I'm shocked. I, I'm shocked I even did that. It's crazy. Pet peeves? Anybody have any pet peeves? <laughs> I've got a dog, but that's not really a pet peeve. That's just a pet. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I literally don't. No. Fuck. Shit. Piss. Come. Hey, yo, we got another P-cast. Uh, hey, hey, what's up, there? No. P-cast. Correct. Welcome to the P-cast. We have a new P-cast uh, joiner here. Um, hello. Hello. Wait, what's your hello, uh, what's your P-honk name again? Oh, my, uh, my, my name is NTSD's Nuts. NTSD's Nuts. Yeah, NTSD's Nuts has joined the P-Honk cast here, so. Yeah, they keep having me here. Yeah. Surprise guest. Um, I guess surprise member. He's a, he's a, he's one of the OGs or the OG, if, if, I, if I'm being honest. Um, yes, yes, yeah. yes. So, tell us a bit about yourself. Well, you know, let me let me tell you the origins about Beyond. Obviously, I'm the guy who started this whole thing. The holidays, bro. I soloed to like I, I made up a team. I was like, I took the power of girls and just added a little bit of everything, and actually, you know, I got Beyond. Um, I'm not the one who started it, started it, but it did start it from me. <laughs> like that one name, uh, what's it called? That one guy. Do you know what his name was? Um, Jordan Peterson was that his, was that his name? 
the, the guy who was like, I was with me like, Peahawk, fuck. I, I wish I knew who that was. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, after that meme, it all came to me, bro. We ended up Snyder and Stack something with uh, one of the other members, and then we started adding more people to this collective, and it was supposed to be like like a, a trilogy with just only three with only three EPs out, but we ended up making more songs. It's supposed to do it very, very well for some reason. Honestly, it's been insane these past <laughs> the past few months. Yeah. Like I don't even think that uh, the collective has sadly passed by. You know, OG accounts. Just these nuts. Go follow me up on SoundCloud. Show me that. That's one of my two. But like, they, uh, I didn't think the collective was going to be that good. But, uh, yeah, it ended up passing me in followers and in, and in lessons. How crazy is that? Yeah. Hmm. That's impressive. <laughs> And it's really has been some impressive growth, um, though I'm not surprised. We're at 200, I think 200k now. Hmm. Right. Yeah, we are at 200, which is pretty, which is pretty funny. Yep. Yeah. What, Honestly, about, what, it, what about future releases? Future releases for the group. Yeah. Well, we are planning to collab with certain people for the next. For the next volume, like we got, we got Jason Rich, DJ Smokey, and we're still trying to get Young Vamp on, on a track, but he just uh -huh. does not want to. And honestly, I don't know why Vamp doesn't want to do so, because like, we're popping off. And if he wants to pop off even more, he should just start Pionk. Yep. Yeah. He's got to start like, something. Yeah. Like, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, Vamp's talking about he wants to try different new things and whatnot, so why not try P Hawk? You know, yeah, yeah, that's the way to go. Honestly, it should be like a like P Hawk should be like something like artists can like take a break from doing actual serious music and some random shit that they never want to make just for the fun of it. Just to get yourself into that producing life again, like you know, like it's fun to do it. So P Hawk is fun to do. Yeah, a bunch of to it. Isn't it good? There are some tapes outside of the Hooded Bandits uh, account that are planned. As an example, Blue Peepa 2. Um, yeah. And uh, Eyes Blue as well. Yeah. Hmm. By Blueberry Man. Eyes, oh, by Blueberry Man, yes. P Problems Part 2 is also planned and nearly finished, so... It's gonna be a slapper. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, actually, uh, sorry. Do you know? Do you know where, where I can see the stream or where I can see the podcast? Um. So we're gonna. It's gonna be airing live um, in the Super Bowl halftime show. But if you want to hear it before that, uh, you can just. You know, we'll be putting it on the Hooded Bandits YouTube channel. I think is a good place to put it. Mm. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. That is a good place. Uh, Super Bowl? Ah, uh, Super Bowl coming up, bro? Crazy. Yeah, Super Bowl's gonna go go hard with us, so they're gonna fuck with it. Hey, Who's gonna be in this game? Good. I guess I like to hear. Also, um, NTS, your, uh, your mic is, sounds like absolute poo honk. <laughs> <laughs> I know because uh, I'm I'm kind of uh, I don't know how bad it is, but I'm kind of I think it's maybe uh, my fan, but I'm kind of away from my computer. Uh -huh. okay. That 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 thing crashed on me, bro, because of all the beats that I have on it, bro. Uh -huh. It's been so tough these days. Like I can't even touch. I have like a back mini, bro, and I just can't touch it no more because all the all the shitty memes. Excuse my language. All the all the memes. All the editing I have on it just crashed. You know, your 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 Mac just crashed because um, you made so many fire P <laughs> that it just couldn't handle it anymore. Well, that's the correlation I see. Yeah, yeah. But I'm planning on getting something better because uh, yeah, that that yeah, that, you're that planning that on. Uh, you're planning on getting a Mac Mega? That yeah, the Mac is a whole, uh, a whole 
Yeah, <laughs> totally. Actually, <laughs> real talk, real talk. I found a 2015 um, iMac 5K. So it's super yeah. 32 gigs of RAM. It's 2015, so it's a little old, but it's like super overbuilt for $450. Four hundred and fifty dollars on Craigslist. I mean, my what? Man. Yeah. It, really? And I was gonna message you about it, but shipping it would probably also cost like a hundred and dollars oh, because I was gonna buy it and ship it to you. The, the, the problem isn't the shipping part because I could pay it off in no time because the Mac Mini, the, the new Mac Mega Studio is a. Uh, is pretty pricey, like two thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. But if you got thirty-two, wait, RAM? Yeah, case of RAM. What? Just for, is it because? Because it's the five K. It's for like video. It's built. It's just like the premier iMac, but it's also from twenty fifteen. So it's it might be hit or miss. I mean, is it used? Yeah, it's used. Oh, you know, I did the Mac Mini Studios on rehearsing and set up in the Mac Mini Studio. It's not I, I don't, I don't, I don't really care about spending that much money, honestly. It's just because I can. It's just that uh, I just need something that's like that's good. I, I don't, I don't really have to wait for stuff, you know. Yeah. So it sounds like your P honk, like, your P honk royalties are paying. <laughs> pretty much like I'm gonna add like a bunch of memes on my track though I wanted to like I don't care if it like takes a lot to like ex to export it off the dock like that's not my that's not my problem the problem is like working with like different websites and having to like uh do all these covers and it would just work perfectly I'm just trying to get a copy that's all like the Mac Mini Studio seems like the best fit so once that comes in I could start going crazy on the PR tracks <laughs> So, um, I have a question, and that's, uh, favorite emoji. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one. Favorite emoji. Ooh, what is the thing called? T is it called Tiki? Tiki face? Why? Yeah, I see they're called, I thought they were called Tiki. What is it? Tiki? I'm, I'm cool with that. I think I'm that's more it, it's, Yeah, it's the stone, it's the stone face. It looks like... Yeah, that's a Moai. M-O-A. What? Oh yeah, M O Y A I. Oh, wow. TP face is different. M O A I. You're right. Yeah, the Moai face. That's the best. That's the best emoji ever. Um, I honestly I love it so much. It is. I think the best emoji <laughs> is uh, the uh, as Bing called it, uh, the good old my dad emoji, which is uh, <laughs> basically uh, the straight face. With just in outlines. Oh yes. With a straight out. Oh, which one is that one again? It's a new. It's a new emoji drop. Yeah, I think only only Apple has it. Yep. Like Mac systems. I'm gonna drop it in in the chat real quick. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. It's it doesn't even show up on Discord. <laughs> Good. Um. Up in my I think my real favorite emoji though is um the you ain't got no bitches emoji, the one where it's like uh tilted to the left or right. That's actually a really hard question now the more that I think about it. Um there. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, rolling on the floor laughing. <laughs> that's the that's the you ain't got no bitches emoji. <laughs> I think the flushed face and the hot face are the ones that I get the most mileage out of. Um, I'll post them here. There we go. Yeah. And those are... Uh, um, yes. Yeah. So, we have... Uh, Gucci Mane wrote in. He says, which P-Honk sample is y'all favorite? Ooh, uh, it's the it's the Paul Hardcastle drifting away. <laughs> yep, drifting away. That's a, that is a, a really solid sample. And then, real Elon Musk asked, which volume are you the most satisfied with so far? Oh, which volume? I think it, I think I had to go for uh, volume five, honestly, because just there's just two. I think there's like two bangers. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a lot of bangers, but the two that was my favorite was uh, uh, the 
they're worth joking. The both songs, the both the both songs. Busted are my pants, yeah. Yeah, it's the busted in my pants and the first one as well. Yes. Um, Those two were just amazing, as in my opinion. Yep. No, I think we also did the best job at hyping that one up as well. Like the yeah. listening party was yeah. a success, with and the, yeah, oh, with the animation I did and the animation, yeah. Yo, the animation. The animation was so good. Uh, honestly, I, I loved it so much. And I, it, it was amazing. It was amazing. I'm going to do one for Volume 6, too. Hey, that's, that's perfect. You don't need to, like, like I said before, like, really need the animation. You don't need to, like, uh, actually animate. Like, you know how, like, you have, like, things moving, like, someone's hand or something? Like, you just, you just need to slide left and right. That's literally it. It's pretty easy. Yeah, well, you can go the extra way if you want to. I will. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm, what I'm trying to do is edit like uh, DJ Hugbam. Yeah, his edits are pretty decent. I heard. Yeah. <laughs> pretty decent. Honestly, these are pretty good. I don't know how you able, how he was able to do it. <laughs> Final cut. Why from... did you say you there? <laughs> No, I, it was, I, I, no, everybody knows I'm DJ Humber. I even introduced yeah, myself as DJ Humber at the beginning. beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, DJ Humber tends to talk to himself in the third person. <laughs> oh, speaking of vamps, uh, DJ Young Vamp writes in, and I'm still mad at him for stealing my name, but... Uh, he says, Bert, my bandits, I'm so sorry for hating on P-Honk. I actually really like the genre as I take a lot of inspiration from it, especially in my later tracks. Much love, Vamp. Um, not a question, but I, I just wanted to also read that one to you since you missed it uh, before you joined. Oh, okay, okay. Well, obviously, yeah, I am I'm basically a... Uh, I don't know if anybody noticed this, but I'm kind of like a detective, right? So I know when stuff is real and when stuff is fake. And that comment is definitely fake you think I so know, bro, yeah. fact, did you, did you I, know I, 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 I know so bro okay. you think okay because i was thinking that young vamp was at a little turning point he was kind of turning around and uh embracing the the p honk and the memes and stuff <laughs> yeah you can, you can only dream for a few hours bro and then you have to wake up back to reality yeah. I think he does well, like the that, memes, that never come. but the yeah, maybe, P honk, maybe. the P honk, I think he still thinks has gone too far. Um, unfortunately, yeah, that that th uh, right in might maybe fake. So damn. Yeah, we'll get him eventually, yeah. though. He'll get desperate. He won't, he won't, honestly, <laughs> he'll get this. <laughs> obviously, like who does not want to work with other bandits, bro? He's just, he's just, he's just, play, he's just, he's just blue balling us, bro. No pun intended. He is. Uh, but <laughs> our berries are already blue, so he's on a lost cause. Yeah, yeah, honestly. Yeah, it is, it's better. By the um, way, um, did you know that uh, actually the night before the vamp comment was written, uh, me and HP Inkjet actually uh, murdered him? What? We murdered him, so uh, I dropped a, a, a printer, an HP Inkjet printer, on top of him. So, uh, yeah, we just, uh, me and the homie murdered him. He ain't gonna, uh, make any more tricks. Okay, okay. Yo, rest in peace, fam. Because, like, uh, we, we murdered him, actually, because he didn't, like, pee honk. Uh, we no. were actually, like, um, holding a gun to his head, uh, saying, mm -hmm. like, yo, if you, if you don't say you uh you like p honk then um then you'll then we'll um yeah just kill you and then we did but not with a gun with a pump. honestly that's some dedication from vamp i mean you have his life is at risk and he still doesn't uh comply with the p honk army you, you can kind of appreciate that but not really because it's because you need to like p honk they right, it's forced. It's part of the New World Order. Yeah. Because actually the Hooded Bandits are, are planning on taking over the world. Yeah. And uh, then we'll make it... Uh, it'll need to be... It'll be forced to like p -Hong. Yeah, so they won't have a choice. Who, who doesn't like p -Hong, 
better change your uh, opinion. Yeah. So, and honestly, bro, honestly, let we take. Be murdered. I just want to let everyone know that we take P Hunk seriously. Like, yeah. we take it seriously, seriously. Yep. That's why. And you think if you th if any of you think we're trolling out there, we're not. We take it so seriously. Yeah. Like, like to the point that if you if you come in our Discord and you want to be with us and then you just switch up all of a sudden, we're finding you and we're coming to your house. Is it no? And and we we mean we mean uh, we mean like gun point to your head and everything. We're we're going mm -hmm. to come after you. We will yeah. we will kill you. We will kill you if you, if you don't like Dion. Yeah, it's yeah. something. It's like it's like it's like it's like. You're in, a, you're in a gang. Once you're in it, you can never come out. That's what P-Honk is. It is. Once you're in it, you cannot leave it. You, you may never leave it. Yep. And if you got a problem with that, then you can happily speak with me in person. I will come to your, I will come to your house, and I will open your door, and I will burn that house down. With your mom, your dad, your sister, your little brother, and your dog, too. And maybe your cat. Have you ever thought about if that's like, um, like, um, hum it's like, is, it, is it like, yeah. There we go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> one sec, I need to Google that. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. What is this podcast? This is what I want to know. You guys need to start streaming it? Crazy. I'm recording it. It, it, every, you, oh, you are you recording? Yeah. yeah. You, you ever thought about? Wait, that? Are you gonna make a video on? This? Are you gonna make a video? Are you make a video on this or? Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> so, okay, bro. so so NTSD is nuts. Have you ever yeah, thought about so. if that's um reasonable? Reasonable? Yeah. Can you please repeat that question again? I did not hear. Sorry. If. <laughs> <laughs> you literally, you literally repeated what I said. Oh what? <laughs> hold on a second. You ever thought hold about um? Uh, Wait, hold on a second. I'll be right back. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Okay, okay, fuck it. <laughs> Drink water. Stay hydrated. I just finished a glass of water, actually. Gold. Actually, we'll be, uh, I'll be back in a second. I gotta check my potato again. I gotta check my dick. Someone texted me. Potatoes burnt. <laughs> we'll see how it is. Ready? Oh, that's the stain. Mm. Mm, that's actually pretty good. Holy cow. Damn. Alright, little cooking tip for everybody. If you just you cook potatoes. If you if you cook a potato for like over an hour at four hundred degrees. It's still really good. This podcast has been going for... Uh, the record time is like an hour and 30 minutes, so I'm sure we have at least 45 minutes of usable audio. Yeah. So I don't really know what to do. <laughs> yeah, at this point we don't even have topics. <laughs> I know. I was, I'm reading off of a uh, 
of a first date questions website. <laughs> <laughs> what a good source. Yeah, like here's so, one. Um, what is your favorite pastry to bake? Dude. Um, probably... <laughs> <laughs> and if you can't answer that, just tell me what your zodiac sign is. <laughs> <laughs> no, my favorite pastry to bake is uh, concrete. Mm. It's really ch- tasty, you need to try it. Well, yeah, I mean, especially now with the whole flour shortage, concrete powder will be a good, like, source for cooking pastries. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's a good tip. With, like, a little bit of uh, this this uh, really uh, expensive oil, mm-hmm. a little bit of oil on there, it just tastes so good. Um, truffle it's oil? It's a bit hard to bite through, but, um, yeah. Of course. This one's This one's confusing. What would you be if you had to be an item for a month? Your plastic vagina. So I can fill your cough every night. <laughs> Evan? What's up? Favorite pastry? <laughs> Bro, Matt's really following the point. <laughs> Evan, what are you currently obsessed with? Currently obsessed with? You know, whether it's a book, a TV show, CrossFit. Bro, what kind of question, question is that? Of course, Hong. What the fuck? Let's see. He's a pee hunk. Yeah, I'm, I'm currently obsessed with. Let's see. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just guess. Probably like yoga and quantum physics. Nice. That's good. Yeah, That's like the average pee honker, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Well, in fact, we we need to update our prerequisites for joining because. Yoga and quantum physics are kind of a necessity at this point, based off well, of how much we've progressed. Um, I know I have a good answer to what I'm obsessed with. Mm-hmm. Look, look in the <laughs> chat. Mm-hmm. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are you a morning person or a night owl? I'll probably say morning and night, just not afternoon. <laughs> I'm going to admit with my phone. <laughs> What's that? I don't need to go in there with my phone now because I accidentally touched my, uh, <laughs> the power, my power supply. <laughs> Are you on your phone? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Still sounds pretty good, actually. Oh, here's an article underneath the uh, dating questions that I was asking. Uh, it says, how to use edging to make sex even better, according to experts. <laughs> so, I don't know, guys. Um, that was be a great article. Yeah. You guys have any opinions on edging? Um, it's really edgy. Right on the edge. <coughs> it's out there. <coughs> Yeah. So here's a guide, I guess, in case you guys are interested. It says how to try edging with a partner as P on the tool. The bitches, but we ain't got a partner. So this says get your high quality lubricant out and ready to go. And step two, mm-hmm. get your partner physically aroused in the way they prefer. They can try oral, yeah. uh, clitoral, G spot stimulation, nipple play, etc. Really, it's about what gets those fires cooking. If your partner has a I penis, start stroking them in the way they prefer. Um, really, in the way they prefer. I did not think about that, actually. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. I usually <laughs> I usually just take like a cinder block and kind of drop it. <laughs> stroking in the way they prefer might be a good way to, uh, to take this in the direction. If they give you a bit of direction, oh, but edging is about focusing on their own body. So as much control as you can take, the better. Interesting. Yeah, so, um, yeah. I agree. 
There's another one that says sex toys to enhance your edging experience. <laughs> what the fuck is this podcast? Thirteen best dating and hookup apps for queer men. Interesting. No, I always use fucking um uh LinkedIn. Yeah, that's I thought that was the go to. I mean there's a lot of like well dressed yeah. guys in suits with like just the good you know, they all they all kinda of put off that vibe on LinkedIn, so I was surprised um when I got kicked off for flirting with so many people. Um, men and women. It was just, yeah. you know, kind of disappointing. But I will say LinkedIn is still my favorite social media profile platform. I mean, even though, even though they uh, they do kind of uh, ban me from it every now and then. We got this in Germany. We got this uh, platform called uh, Schüler VZ, which is basically uh, it's a platform for students. Mm-hmm young students yeah, so i always use that so i can grab myself a cute school girl okay cool so maybe we can help drake out with his search for uh a nice girl under 18. yeah so uh drake just uh use use shooter about that it, it always it, it works always all the time so on this list i found another one it's called jacked j-a-c-k apostrophe d it says, Jacked promises new users that they'll be able to connect with, quote, the most diverse community of gay, bi, trans, queer, and curious guys around the globe, end quote. Yep. And is popular For among real. men of color. Yep. Being gay is the most gay thing I ever heard. I think hiding it is kind of cool. Yeah. It makes it sort of surprising, you know? You know, you're as surprised as they are when, <laughs> when things happen. Uh, boy, there's a lot. I mean, seriously, look at this. There's Grinder, Scruff, Sniffies, Hetero, Fet Life, Recon, Field, Jacked, Surge, Adam for Adam, Growler, Hornet, Teaser. <laughs> and they're all like misspelling. They're all misspelled. You guys think P Honk will ever be featured in like the soundtrack of a movie or anything like that? Bro, for it will be. Especially the first track of Volume 5. That yep. will be like featured many times in many in many movies. I'm just waiting for Marvel to hit us up. Um, yeah, for real. For soundtracks, because I actually hate Marvel movies. Um, so I'm just hoping I can make them better by adding P Honk to it. Yeah, for real. For sure, for sure. I do like Iron Man, though. In fact, I actually planned on watching Iron Man later today. The first Iron Man. It's 9 p.m. 48 in Germany. No laugh. <laughs> oh, man. That's a good one, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think uh, I think that's everything. Um, it's a, it's Thank a shame you for that... listening. Yeah, for listening to this podcast, the the Pcast. Thanks for listening. Thanks for follow listening. us all on social media. Yes. Um, um, hold on. Let me especially on LinkedIn. Yes, Hooded Bandits on LinkedIn. Um, sorry, I'm yeah, kind of stalling a little bit here, but uh, we do have some shout outs. Um, follow the Hooded Bandit gang on SoundCloud. That's at Hooded Dash Bandits. Also at Oreo Main, at Adam Sandler Main, at Jason Broke, uh, Jason Welfare, Jason Third World, Roland Joneses, Blueberry Main, Super, DJ Old Vamp, DJ Older Vamp, DJ Oldest Vamp, Cowbell Choir, Raspberry Main, Unsheltered, Casper, NTSD's Nuts, Markiplier Main, Old Pirelli, The Real Three Six Mafia, Unholy Mob, Not Hat Very, Not That Very Proper, Pink Posse, Blue Hands, Von Wind, Pensuda. Unholy Circle, Milk Main, First Century, Sponge Main, Von Wind, Holy Mob, Holy Moly Mob, I mean, Marla Bori Boy, Peen Suda, Thor Beats, and 5 xs Main, Kick Cry, Kick, Kick, Kick Cry Main, 333, oh, Kirkry, Kirkry Main, 333, DJ Cigarettes, Immune System, Neighbor's Daughter, Lil Pump to the Heart, Chips Ahoy Main, 120, 1201, 
7. Underseas Gaming, Out Out It, Chicken Fingers, Google the Search Engine, Nesquik, Earthcats, Even One Out, Inflawed Fiends, Apoc Crisis, Choir Main, and Freddy Ward, Red Ward Main. Fred Ward, Dread Ward Main, that's what it is. And Foot Job Main and HP Inkjet. Yeah, Foot Job Main, HP Inkjet. Bro, you just, you just shout out at fucking Chips Ahoy Main. It's, that's in here though. I don't know who Why is it in there. I Why is it in idea. there, bro? Get the that get that shit out of there. Hold on, we've got more. We've Adam the Shinobi, um, <laughs> Sappy, um, Raylix, or Rail Raylix Raylix, uh, Combuster six six six, um, uh, eighteen eighty eight. Uh, oh, of course, circumcised main and circumcised main. An uncircumcised man, I think we already got that one. Uh, oh, yeah. Hooded Bandits is the SoundCloud profile for it. Um, DJ Hung Van. And on uh, on Instagram, P Hong Official and Meme Fist Triple Six. Um, and for Joke Man. Let's see. Here. And Blueberry Man 999. Oh, Trolland Jones. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then, Evan, what was your. What's your name again? Um, um, new mono ultra microscopic silica volcano coniosis name. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever that is. Okay. Um. All right. So yeah, follow those social medias, and you can find all of those. We have it throughout the internet. We've taken over. It's you know Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Um, Google Plus, Twatter, um, um, Tinder, Tinder, yep, uh, Grinder, um, yeah. Stay tuned for everything. Follow me on Instagram because I got a follow from DJ Smokey now. Yep, DJ Smokey follows us, so that means you guys yeah. also have to as well. So, yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs>